Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Gloomhaven Forget Forgotten Circles, um, which is the expansion to Gloomhaven. Um, if you don't know what Gloomhaven is, I suggest you go and check out my review of that, because that would be cool. And this game comes from Cephalofair Games and it's designed by Isaac Childers and Marcel oh, Svertz, uh, Svertz Czech. I'm so sorry whoever you are I'm very sorry about this uh, but yes you know when you put that many letters together and you don't know the person it could be horribly difficult to pronounce so I won't insult you by trying again um, so yeah this has been a much awaited expansion for the very popular game Gloomhaven um, this is a copy that I pre-ordered so um, it's the first time I've ever pre-ordered anything but we like Gloomhaven a lot in our house so we thought you know why not jump on the bandwagon so the problem I have with this right now is I don't know how much of this I can actually unbox for you or even for myself because in the nature of Gloomhaven is that things unfold the further you get into the game. So I haven't actually taken the lid off or anything but I said I'd try and we'll see what's inside for anybody who's thinking about it and that's if I can even show you anything. Um, so let's let's start. Okay first things first. Box is lovely and hard. It's a properly made box. I quite like the art. I'm not sure how this relates to the original Gloomhaven box. But, you know, it's interesting. Let's see what it says in the back. Okay, here we go. So it's for one to four players, 30 minutes per player. Um, age is 13 plus, that's fine. But here we go. So what's it tell us about this expansion? Memories of the past are the key to our future. Ooh, so a mysterious diviner brings dark importance and terrifying new foes. Join her on a 20 scenario quest to explore the history of Gloomhaven. So it looks like we're going into the past a little bit. So there's special scenarios for this. So it includes a 68 page scenario book with 20 dynamic adventures, cool. Um, a challenging new playable class, the Aesthetic Diviner, awesome. There are seven new monsters types, including bosses, woo. You get new locations, new items, new road events, new city events, new rift events, new, new unlockable level envelopes, they're my personal favorite. Um, so yes, okay, so it seems like there's gonna be a lot in this box, you know, it seems to be very promising. So let's actually get into the box. Oh, it's very, it's a really thick box. <laughs> Oh, I like how that looked when I opened it to you. Look at that. Oh, they're still binding things with these spirals. I already like broke our Gloomhaven one. Um, I assume this might happen, but the color is nice. So obviously purple is what they've, they've gone for. So rule book and scenario, guys. Feels, so, oh, it's actually got a harder cover than the original Gloomhaven one does. And, thank you, so 67 pages. We'll have a quick go. So read this first. Um, add the appropriate city. So it tells you what to do with what you've got. Here's all our components. Cool. There's some new rules. Um, that could be exciting. And then how to do not proceed to the rest of this book. So I will not be proceeding to the rest of this book. But as you can gather, more scenarios. You know, very similar to the original book. So that's cool because Gloomhaven already has everything in it. This is really just here's a way to utilize what you already have in new ways. And that's kind of what you expect from this expansion. Most definitely it's what I expected. What's on the back of it? Monster artificial intelligence reference. Okay, that's cool. So it's a reminder of how monsters work, um, which is all good. The treasure index and stuff at the back. It's very good. I'm not a fan of these spiral bound things though, I have to say. They just they worry me. Okay, so you're getting some Stickers anyway for your eyes from your map of Gloomhaven. Some new locations on your sticker terms. Some new achievements. Mechanical splendor, peril averted, knowledge is power, severed ties through the portal. Cool. Also some little hand things. Nice. So here's the new standees. Well, which of course don't mean anything without other bits attached. Where's the middle two guys? Oh, there's one. <laughs> They've fallen out and 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 okay in traveling. So these feel the same as the ones that are already in Gloomhaven. They're good and solid and thick. As you can see, there's new tokens here as well. Um, I'll try to show you as many of these. They're, they're, they're a little shiny. So there's some sort of ghost archer thing, cat archer thing. Um, lady with two hammers, not having hammer axes. Cool looking elf thing. Something very strange. Yeah, and they're all the same on both sides up. They pop out fairly handily. All good. So obviously I'm not supposed to open this, but oh, it's got that rattle. I'm also not to use these cards. It says halt, don't open these. So you can see there's a deck of cards. 
for something or another. We've got new holders for our new monsters. Always a good thing. Here's the monsters themselves. And yeah, you're getting down, um, getting down to the bottom here. So that's who the monsters we got. I kind of don't want to give them away though, do you? I'm just going to have a few of these. Yeah, they're the lovely kind of same thing from the original game. So yeah, a couple of different types. I can name them. That won't give them away. So there's an Esther Scouse, an Esther Ashblade, a Valrath Savage, a Valrath Tracker, a Valrath Commander, a Manifestation of Corruption, and a Human Commander. So that's pretty great. Yeah. There's no point in me telling you all the stats and things on them because you know that would ruin it. But there are new monsters with in, in lovely square shape as usual to go in these. So down, what's left? So obviously we have some standees for our new monsters, and we have um, yeah a little deck for the trackers and stuff. So this is all for the monsters, how they move and things. And then we've got a flat box with a V. Woo! And then obviously this must be the new character box. The eye symbol, I'm not gonna open it. Matching character. Ta-da! Because obviously, you know, part of Gloomhaven is the surprise or getting to unlock something or learn something new or, you know, whatever it might be. So I'm not gonna give all of that away. But so now at least you've seen what's in the box. You can see if you are tempted. I know I'm tempted. I, like looking at it all just reminds me of how much I like playing Gloomhaven and how much fun it is. Um, you know, yeah, it's a big game, it's a big investment, but I think you get a lot out of it, and there's a lot in it. Um, so there seems to be a good bit of stuff actually in this expansion, considering, considering since we're covering all of its bases and giving you little bits of new things every which way. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it looks good. I think it looks really, really good. I should put it back on the screen. So yeah, so that is, um, that's me. <laughs> so uh, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and I've just unboxed Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles. What do you think? Think it's good value for money? Would you be interested in picking it up? Mm, I'm curious to see how long it'll take us to get there. We've played about 30 plus um, scenarios of Gloomhaven so we've got to get, get to the point where we can play this soon and I look forward to it. I think, I think it's exciting. I like breathing life into a game you already love. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not think about liking or subscribing? Or if you want to do something super nice, you could just tell another person I exist because, you know, the more the merrier and all that. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.